Hi everyone. Today we're going to talk about something very fundamental to mathematics called logic. Logic is basically the study of what is true and how we know that that's true. And logic is basically the foundation of all of mathematics. Everything we know about math so far has been built on logic and how we know things are true or not. We're going to learn about logic by playing a fun game called a logic puzzle, which will help us answer a question about what things are true. So take a look at this question here. I have three names, Alicia, Manuel, and Alex. And I'm saying that they like three different superheroes, Batman, Spider-Man, and Superman. And that also these three people have different ages. One is six, one is eight, and one is 10. We don't know how old these people are, and we don't know which person likes which superhero. So I'm given these four clues. And from these clues, we're trying to find out which name and superhero and age are all linked together. For example, the first clue says Alicia likes Spider-Man. That's great, it's very clear and we can tell which superhero Alicia likes, but none of the clues tell us how old Alicia is. And so we can't figure out how old she is just from these clues. Similarly, the second clue says Alex does not like Superman. That's cool, but we still don't know which superhero Alex actually does like. So you can see by just reading these clues, we can't answer the question of which superhero everyone likes and how old everyone is. So we need a logic puzzle to be able to answer this question. So I'm gonna start by writing the superheroes. We have Batman, Spider-Man, and Superman. And then I want that to be linked to everyone's name because I wanna know which person likes which superhero. So going down, I'm gonna add a row with names. So that's Alicia, Manuel, and Alex. And now, can you see how we have a grid where Alicia, for example, can be linked to Batman, Spider-Man, or Superman, and everyone's name can correspond to one of the superheroes. But we also wanna link ages with names, right? We wanna figure out how old every person is as well. So across the top, I will also write ages, and those are gonna be six, eight, or 10. And then also we wanna figure out, given which superhero everyone likes, how old they are as well. So we also need to write ages down below names. So now we have a space to link ages and superheroes in that grid. So now that I'm done, do you see that it was almost like a square but with some parts missing? That's great, because if we were to make it a complete square, we would have ages mapped to ages, which doesn't really add any information, right? Because whoever's six is also gonna be six and that doesn't help us much. So you could definitely add that into your picture, but you don't actually need that part because it doesn't tell you anything new. So now that we have our table made, we can start using it to figure out this problem. First, what I'm gonna do is read through the clues and get all the information we know from the clues into our table. So the first clue says Alicia likes Spider-Man, which means we can put a big check mark with Alicia and Spider-Man, because that's the superhero Alicia likes. The second clue says Alex doesn't like Superman. So we can put an X for Alex and Superman. The third clue says that the youngest person likes Spider-Man. The youngest person is going to be six, right? So we can put a check mark with six and Spider-Man. And finally, the person who likes Superman is eight. So then we can put a check with eight and Superman. But if you were to stop here and just look at this, this doesn't help us answer our question, right? This is not enough information. So what else do we know with this table? Well, we're assuming every person only likes one superhero. So if Alicia likes Spider-Man, that means that Manuel does not like Spider-Man and Alex does not like Spider-Man. So we can put X's for Manuel and Spider-Man and Alex and Spider-Man. Similarly, if Alicia likes Spider-Man, that means that she does not like Batman and she does not like Superman. So we can put X's there as well. So this is almost like bingo, right? Because we're Xing off our rows and our columns. So if we go down to ages and superheroes, we see that whoever is six years old likes Spider-Man, which means that whoever is six years old does not like Batman and does not like Superman. So wherever we have a check mark, we can put X's in that row and that column because we know that we've already found that match. So once we're done with that, if you look at the grid where ages and superheroes intersect, then there's only one box left where there's nothing written. So we know that that box, which is 10 and Batman, must go together. So there's a check there. Also, if you look at where names and superheroes intersect, you can see that there's only one spot left for Manuel and Superman. So Manuel must like Superman. And then there's gonna be only one spot left, which is Alex and Batman. 
So now we know which superhero each person likes, and we know which superhero corresponds to what age. For example, we know that whoever is six years old likes Spider-Man, but do we know who is six years old? Do we know what name is linked to what age? Well, we know that Alicia likes Spider-Man, and whoever is six years old likes Spider-Man because there's checks in both of those boxes. So Alicia must be six. So we can check off Alicia and six and put in the X's in the row and column. And then we can look again and see that Manuel likes Superman and whoever is eight likes Superman. So Manuel must be eight. And finally, we can see that Alex likes Batman and whoever is 10 likes Batman. So Alex must be 10. So now we have our answer. We can write Alicia is six and likes Spider-Man. Manuel is eight and likes Superman. And Alex is 10 and likes Batman. And we're done. Do you see how this puzzle helped us figure out the answer? And if we were to just read the clues, it would be really hard to figure out who likes which Superman and how old everyone is. So there are lots of fun puzzles like this, and they can get really, really difficult if you add more names or more things that they like. There's a link down below with more puzzles like this if you want to check those out and try them for yourself. Thanks for watching. Bye.